Hey guys, Tim Pokemon here, and we are hatching some eggs to start this video, but we are playing the Pokemon Go Holidays event, and we got six 10Ks, one that hatched on its own by accident beforehand. I was trying to save it, it was started hatching in the Uber, but I also got a shiny, and obviously you can see a different uh, background. We are playing in New York City, one of the best places to play Pokemon Go in the world. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take advantage, try to find that shiny Pika, and so much more. But first, let's see if these eggs provide with something, I and mean, we've got a couple tie runs, reminds me of Go Fest New York. Uh, not not too long ago. Ooh, decent IVs on the Jangmo though, but we'll see if we got any good IVs. Nothing too crazy. But let's go ahead and drop our daily in. Since we start in Central Park, we're gonna go ahead and just try to find what we find. You know, um, hopefully find a ton of shinies today. We already started with one. Like I said, we got that Sneasel inside the Uber. So hopefully we could keep that going and get even more shinies. Now the goals for the day, shiny Pika and shiny Eevee. Those are our two big goals for the day. So hopefully we can find both of those. And hopefully we find, my goal is at least like a squad's worth of shinies, right? In New York today, we're gonna be out for a while. We have the spotlight hour later. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna be out all day and hopefully again finding tons of shinies and uh we do have three winter raid tasks so maybe i'll hop into this shadow raid help this person right after i'm done uh you know get in these uh to second spawn is what i meant to say but we got a satatl can't be shiny yet it's all good but the next one is a patch rat on the incense not shiny and we got ourselves a quick daily incense pikachu but unfortunately not a shiny one and we quickly got those three raid tasks i mean we had four people in there more than just the one person but let's see if we get a shiny glitch Glaceon or Lapras, that would be perfect. Um, Glaceon with the costume is a really nice one. I want a hundo of it as well, even though I already have one, but hey, we'll be hunting it, you know what I mean, but 0 for 3. And now we got ourselves a quick Obama Snow raid, plus some tasks. We'll go ahead and see if maybe we pick up a shiny Obama Snow, because I want to pick up one of these this event, because they have been spawning in the wild a decent amount. But first, let's check the raid. Unfortunately, not shiny, but it is what it is. There's also a little cluster here, and it turns out this is a Joltik Nest, Central Park is a Joltik nest. Absolutely insane. Gonna be checking all these Joltiks, see if we pick up a shiny one. But first, we got an Eevee, and then we got two potential Pika tasks. So let's see if one of these turns out to be shiny. Well, it's not even a Pika, but it's a little insane. True. The second one is a Pika, but not shiny, not Hundo. You can literally see all the Joltiks spawning around, but we also have another one of those wild Obama snow that I mentioned, but it's not a shiny one. We're gonna be hunting for Pikas, but I haven't seen one for like 10 minutes. And quick double two keg. Let's just see if we can hatch ourselves a shiny right at the start of the uh, video because why not and these eggs have been just nowhere unfortunately you know it is what it is but this EV is actually quite high on CP let's see it okay it's decent on EVs but nothing too crazy and spawn wise we got a bergmite on the instance that's gone. And a quick break, and we got ourselves a couple encounters. And again, this Joltik nest is actually super clutch. I've got tons of Joltik encounters. Maybe we'll find a shiny Joltik, but as you can see here, there's not too much going on, but I do have some research to do with you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into that. First, we got a potential Pikachu. It is a Pikachu, unfortunately not shiny. It's also nine CP off the hundo, so not amazing, but nothing too bad. But we do have some researches to go ahead and go through. We got a couple of encounters. We got a Pika again, but it's not shiny again which is unfortunate but we do have another one here with an incense as well let's see if it's shiny it's a glaceon but not a shiny one now we're outside the met and let's see if we can maybe get a new entrance potential with one of these shinies i mean look hey you gotta put a shiny up on the wall at the met i guess but let's just see if we got a patch rat that isn't shiny unfortunately but i do have two winter raid tasks so let's see if one of these turns out to be shiny glaceon not shiny and the second one is the lapras that isn't shiny I was beginning to think it wasn't real. We got another Pika, but not a shiny. And not one, but two potential Pikachu tasks. So let's see if we got ourselves a shiny Pika here. That would be absolutely amazing. But the second task is an Alolan Sandshrew. Not shiny. And right as we pass the Central Park Zoo, we got ourselves a shiny swine up on the incense. Hey, we got a few of these on the classic calm day. Not the classic calm day, the recap calm day. And hey, we take as many of these as we can get, and it matches the incense. I mean, green swine up, green incense, it makes sense. We pick up another shiny for the day, our second shiny of New York so far. We'll see how many we can pick up on the day. But our first full odds one, and let's see if this one's good IVs. It is absolutely horrendous, but we do have a couple checks here with research, Deli Bird being one of them. I think it's like Deli Bird or Shelter or something like that. I think is the other potential encounter. But we got two Deli Birds, both not shiny. Then we got ourselves a Shfeel that isn't shiny and a Swinub that isn't shiny as well. Now we quickly got three eggs. We got a giant candy cake in the back, which is pretty awesome. But let's just hatch these eggs real quick, see if we get anything special. The 2Ks have been nowhere to 
to be seen. So I'm hoping maybe these fives or tens give something good out of them. I don't know, but let's just check these IVs real quick and let's check if anything's in the wild. Not too much, but a little sand true. Not shiny. And a quick Pikachu, shiny. Nope, oh, we also got a Stantler. Might as well check that. No, very fast double Pika check from research. So let's see if we can get the shiny. 382, about 20 off that hundo. But we got a second one. Is it shiny? It is a Pika yet again, but not shiny. What is Giovanni hiding? I mean, he's got a Pikachu right here. That unfortunately isn't shiny. I tried to see if maybe he was hiding a shiny Pika, but Swan, I'm not shiny either. And we have three potential Pikas here with one being guaranteed in the wild there. Unfortunately not shiny, but we do have two from research. Let's check quickly though, the Eevee and the Alolan Sandshrew here in the wild. Let's see if one of those shine. Of course, we're looking for the Eevee as well, not just that Pikachu, but we'll see if we can find that. We do have two potential Pikachu tasks at least. 390, it's getting closer to the hundo at the very least, but the second one is an Alolan Sandshrew, not shiny. And then what about the swine up? Nah. Another two Pikachu tasks, or at least potential Pikachu tasks, as we've seen with all these Alolan Sandshrews, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and see if one of them is shiny. It's an Alolan Sandshrew, not shiny. And this is a tiny, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch it. I did check it beforehand. See you guys next clip. And now it's time for some Pika tasks, but we also got the Nintendo store of NYC, aka New York City, in the background. I would be kidding myself if I didn't stop in there. You know, I knew I was gonna at least take a little bit of a pit stop in there, but we got a Lola Sandshrew and a potential Pika yet again. Okay, they're both a Lola Sandshrew, both not shiny. We have one in the wild, isn't shiny either. Maybe we'll pick up a shiny while we're in the store, but uh, let's get in there. But first I gotta show you guys a really, really cool stop, which I'm gonna be sending to some members. We got ourselves a Donkey Kong statue gym. Love it, gotta save it for some gifts. Let's get in there. And the little Nintendo store trip is over. We're back outside, but we got ourselves a Kirim Raid and we have a Winter Raid task. So let's see if either of them are shiny. They're both gonna be pretty good odds. The Kirim, unfortunately, not shiny, although 25, 34 is decent, so I'll take it. But we do have the Lapper Slash uh, Glaceon, not shiny. I'll show you guys what we got from the store later in the outro. Quick batch of five event 2Ks and we started hatching by accident. Looking for that Eevee as boosted odds in these eggs. So we're trying to hatch a shiny of it in these eggs at least once. Would be really, really nice. We'll have to see though this event. We're gonna be hatching these eggs like crazy. And I was finally able to get a batch of five, which has been rare for me this event. And that was actually a really good batch. Three Eevees, two Galar and Darmacus. Kind of what you want to see. We'll see if any of them are a hundo though. Unfortunately not. But uh, spawn wise, we got ourselves a Bergmite that isn't so, uh, I guess, shiny. I guess no yellow snow. But we have two tasks here. We might as well claim them with you guys. We got a Stantler that isn't shiny, 899. That's not good either. We got to catch a real quick one. Stantler wasn't good, but is this shiny or good IVs? It's not shiny. 455, I'm not 100% sure. Fast Pikachu. Let's see if it's shiny. Now, and we're at a legendary spot with Bryant Park. And we're gonna go in and see if maybe it provides with a shiny, because that would be awesome. But we have a Pikachu among others here, and that one was on the lure module. Maybe I should have checked the first just to be safe. It, oh, also the Tyrant's also on the lure module. And as you can see, I mean, look at all these stops lured up. I mean, everybody loves this spot. We're gonna go in and see if we pick up a shiny, but uh, Ekans, not shiny. And not one, not two, but three Pikachus, or did one of them just despawn? One of them just despawned. Whatever, we move on. Is this a Beldum Ness also? That would be crazy if that's about, oh no, magnetic lures are down. Okay, well, sorry guys, I'm like losing my mind over here, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we got ourselves a shiny chilling here or from one of the tasks that we do have picked up and we just explored five kilometers apparently. Okay, cool. Well, we got three potential Pikas here, so let's just see if one of them turns out to be shiny. That would be awesome. The second one, not shiny, 383. And the third one is another Pika. All three of them, th uh, all three of them Pikas, but all not shiny. But we do have uh, an explore five kilometers Oh, I don't know where that's from. Okay, and it looks like we have another Pika off a lure, but it's not okay. shiny, unfortunately. Galar and Darmaka, though. Nope, Dancing Galar and Darmaka. I don't know what words just came out of my mouth, but it wasn't shiny, neither is the Caterpie. Very quick Pika. Is it shiny? No. And a quick double check here with an Obama Snow and a Sneasel, both boosted shinies. I already checked that Eevee on the incense because I was scared it was going to despawn and as it did, but uh, yeah, no shiny. Another double potential Pikachu task. Now I checked that Eevee already, but it's all good. First Pikachu is a bit, the first Pikachu task, sorry, is a Pikachu, but the second one is still not a shiny Pikachu. Please. Another quick cure right after our lunch break. We've got some rare candy XLs, which you love to see. But let's see if we got ourselves a shiny Curum right here, please. We do not, unfortunately, 2507. The raid was right there. We do have a winner raid task. Let's see it. 
Nope, not a shiny glacier, unfortunately, but there's a couple spawns here, including a Pikachu, so let's go ahead and check that real quick, unfortunately, not shiny, but we have a couple other checks, we'll check those real quick, and let me know in the comments down below how your event is going so far, hopefully you guys have gotten the shinies that you're looking for, I'm looking for that Pikachu, no luck yet, but we'll keep hunting, and another Pikachu, but... It's not the one that's shiny, unfortunately, but we have a couple other checks. We'll check them real quick with you guys. And the one thing about this event I will say that's a little bit annoying is the non-event spawns. I feel like they do kind of go almost 50-50 at times with the actual event spawns as that sealed despawn. So I hope they fix that. And another New York Kirim. Let's see if this one is a shiny one, though. That would be nice. I mean, to pick up a shiny Kirim in New York would just make sense. I got a Cobali on the last time I was here in New York from a legendary raid. So... Doesn't get shot, doesn't go shot. Quickly took down the Shadow Machop. Let's see if we can get ourselves a shiny shadow. Now I won't lie, raids all across New York just fill up instantly, which is awesome. But let's see if maybe it gives us a shadow shiny because that would also be awesome, but unfortunately not. Now we have a couple of Chitados around, but nothing too crazy, but we do have a couple of checks that we'll check really quickly, Muriel, Seal, and all that, but we have two potential Pikachu tasks, and you know, they could be that Alolan Sandshrew, but we're trying to find that shiny Pikachu at some point in this event, but we have a Zigzagoon that isn't shiny, we have two tasks, let's see if we can pick up a shiny from one of these, or at least a Pikachu, or a Hundo, come on. Okay, no Pikachu. And look, just hasn't been there that much today, but we got two eggs, and let's see if maybe we can hatch ourselves a quick little shiny, but... We do have a stream coming up for the spotlight hour, so hopefully that provides with something. And that's a pretty high CP Eevee. We'll go ahead and check. The IVs is decent, nothing too insane, but we have a Dancy Darumaka in the wild. I really want at least a couple shinies with this night background with the luck being so bad. To start the day, maybe we can turn it around, but we'll see. Quick Pikachu raid, because because why not, really? I'm just trying to see if I can pick up this shiny. Haven't been seeing too many today, but do we got it? No. And a quick little cluster checks where we got our first shiny. We got our first shiny swine up of the day. Well, I guess our second shiny first that we had our live reaction for because I caught the sneasel inside the Uber. But we've had two shinies. That's it for the day. So I'm hoping we can maybe, you know, have lightning strike twice, I guess, in this spot. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and see if we get ourselves a temple or if we get ourselves a Ralts. Unfortunately, not. Your boy is low-key defeated today. I mean, I was hoping to pick up a little bit more than two shinies. So I hope we could turn it around and maybe pick up a shiny towards the end here and maybe this research that we finally completed will do that well we got an eevee that unfortunately isn't shiny but uh let's see if i can hit this with the ball with my cold hands and yeah we're about an hour less than an hour away actually from our stream which we're gonna be streaming a little bit of the event into snow run spotlight hour so hopefully a couple snow runs stop by and say hello but honestly the spawns and uh just have not been nice to me they've they've given and they've taken away my shiny lock yeah, and i was hoping maybe that meant we got the side shiny from the last page of this research but unfortunately that was not the case okay let's see if this kecleon is a shiny i was thinking maybe with the, the little mini event we had yesterday maybe it would bring some luck for today but but it didn't at all uh it is what it is we got to figure out what we're trying to do here i'm waiting for the next incense spawn but let me know in the comments down below again how your event is going hey a tiny stantler that's cool would have been extra cool if it was shiny but i'll see you guys in a bit and down goes another kirim and we'll see if this one is shiny we've had a rough day with the shiny kirim so far but uh maybe we turn it around with this raid right here come on please no Ooh, 2538 this is even better than the one we had earlier apparently these eggs only come in twos yeah we only got two 2k eggs but let's see if maybe one of them's a shiny who knows boom okay both galar and darmaka i love the dancing darmaka Ooh. Is that a hundo? It's close at least. It's not okay. I think it's like, I forget the number. It's like 820 something, maybe. I don't know. But it was pretty good. It was pretty good. We take a 96. Of course, I told you guys about this being a Joltik Nest Central Park. It is definitely provided with the Joltik spawns. Not so much the, the Pikachu spawns. I haven't seen one in about like 15, 20 minutes. They're going missing, I guess. But uh, see you guys next clip. Incense Pikachu out there went missing, but not shiny. I'm not going to lie. It feels weird doing a spotlight hour cluster check on video. So basically, our stream crashed, refused to let us have chat. So we had to go ahead and video it instead, which is a little bit annoying it's a little bit different doesn't feel like normal and there's hopefully this copyright music isn't getting picked up but it is what it is we got a couple more checks just one more right here let's just see if it's shiny 
No. And we just got off the bus. So basically, I couldn't play half of the Snow Run Spotlight Hour. And on the bus, I had four 2K eggs hatched. I got the screenshot of it, and I hatched a shiny Galarian Darumaka. So we got one shiny to go from New York. But let's see if we can get another one right here. That would have been awesome. But we did get a technically, I guess, three shinies. You can see it right there, a Galarian Darumaka. Now, we did also hatch a good IV Eevee and some other stuff here that you guys can see. But, hey, it is what it is. There's a Lechonk here. Not pink, but we did hatch a Galarian Darumaka. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Unfortunately, it was on the bus where I literally couldn't record. And now it's time to wrap up today's video. And let's quickly check the house spawn. See if we get ourselves a shiny just chilling in the house. And Amora would be awesome. I still need one to complete that shiny line. And I was hoping maybe it'd be a little bit more common in this event. But it did say, if you're lucky, you'll find it. So I guess I uh, haven't been lucky yet. I mean, you know, it is what it is. We do have a Grubbin daily spawn. Not a shiny, unfortunately. But we'll just go over what we got so far in this video we did get some awesome stuff but not too many shinies i mean i'll take three shines we got three shinies day one three shinies day two but we take a shiny sneasel shiny swine up and a shiny glory darmaka which i love i want to get as many of these as i can i love this thing maybe i gotta start asking it for it from uh you know lucky trade so i can get a shundo of the dance in uh, darmaka i love just a little hoppity hops it's just so awesome but uh yeah honestly the events have been a little bit slow so far and i actually haven't checked in a while if we got any hundos we didn't. Um, and what about Nundos? I have a little tag for that. If you guys didn't know, you guys can favorite a tag here. Zero HP, zero attack, zero defense. That is what you're going to check for Nundos. As you can see, all my Nundos there. But we're going to wrap up today's video here. But we do have... The plushies that we got. I told you guys I would show you them in the outro, and we got two plushies from the store, so let's just go ahead and show them both off. Now, first up, we got ourselves none other than Trico. I mean, look, it's just so cute. I love Trico as a Pokemon, but just it just looks so good as a plushie. It's a little guy. It's definitely going to go up on the shelves, and my fiance is a grass-type trainer, so, you know, we had to pick it up for her, but we move on to what I was very happy to pick up. I regretted not getting this last time. It's the Pikachu with the Statue of Liberties, and it's got a little unknown tablet. I mean, look at that. It's got little unknown letters. Um, uh, this is going to test me. It's U N um, question mark in there? O? Okay, it's not something, something, okay? But yeah, we got, I, I love this plushie. It's so cool. It, it's, I think, exclusive to the New York um, Nintendo store, and I was very happy to go ahead and just pick it up. I feel like it's just one that's really, really cool, and it's just got the whole little gimmick to it, and uh, yeah, maybe one day this will be released in Pokemon Go. Who knows? But I did see the giant Pikachu plushie of the one that's currently spawning in-game, it looked great. I wasn't going to pick it up, but it did look great. It also wasn't shiny. You know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, before we wrap up today, how... How did this Pikachu already know? Hey, hey, we hit 13.1K subscribers. Thank you guys so much again for the insane support. We're trying to hit 14K by the end of the year, so share the channel with all your friends, family, dogs, whoever. But I do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving on the channel. It's been absolutely insane. And uh, how, how do you know all this stuff? 27% of you guys that watch these videos are subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button because that uh, really helps out the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.